episode 11 of Baja Diaries, I broke my foot peg on an unfortunate fall coming down a hill. Well, after a few months back here in the States, I decided to take it to people who actually know what they're doing with XR650 Hondas. And that would be Bob at Precision Concepts. Actually, I found this out through one of our viewers that they make a fix for the weak XR650 peg mount. Okay, so this is the answer to the weak um, XR650 peg mount, right? So, wh what? Where did they drop the ball, and, and how, how, when did you find out this was common? Uh, back in 2000, when they first came out um, on uh, Factory Honda, they were actually had a had a different piece they put in there. It kind of shaved the frame, and because they start to round off, it's almost like the rear bolt just wasn't strong enough, or it bolts into the frame. There's so much pressure on it that it would start to rock and kind of round the frame. So they would plane the frame straight and then put in a flat piece of metal and then a new bolt to try to fix it. But then when we started really looking at it, we looked for an even stronger method. So that's when we came up with this. This actually hooks over the frame. Then you drill out the rear bolt hole and then this goes all the way through and clamps from the back side of the frame. So basically for this to have any kind of a problem, the entire frame would have to give way. Yeah, or that break. Or that break, yeah. yeah. So it just, it's a way of even reinforcing it even more than we did with the, uh, the Team Honda. But it was all, you know, for the guys racing and stuff, just, just you know, jumping and hitting stuff, hitting G-outs, just takes a lot of pressure and they just underestimated how much pressure this could actually hold. Yeah. And, and how it's, like I say, it's just bolted straight on the frame, but the, the it just starts to rock. And once it starts rocking, most people don't notice it until it's too late. And then the frames, you know, the bolts rocking in the threads and starting to pull threads out of the bolt holes. And, and it's just screwed into aluminum. So this, uh, you know, solved the problem with that. The rear one still goes into the aluminum. The front one is a, uh, like I say, it goes on the other side of the frame and then just, just hooks, pulls everything together. So back in 2000, uh, I mean... Were you getting bikes in the shop with this problem? This is a very common problem for 650s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it started coming in, like I say. We didn't really do the, the the system that Honda was doing just because it was they were having the guys in their machining department machine everything flat again, and then, you know, it, it was a lot of work, and we looked for a more, one way it'd be stronger, but also a, a more simple way of doing it. You could People could install themselves. And as long as you have a drill bit, and you can drill out the front hole, you're good to go. Hmm. And then how would people break these normally? Just from dropping the bike or, to, no, or would it break it just from them standing riding on it? it? Yeah, just, wow. just hitting hitting bumps really hard over a period of time. Huh. It just starts to flex on the frame and pretty soon it starts to get looser and looser and next thing you know, <laughs> you've, uh, you've messed up some threads. And, and, uh, and it looks like you guys uh, took advantage of that and solved the problem.